Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can view and convert CAD DWG files on your computer for free. So we're going to show you a few different methods here. So I have various DWG files here on the desktop. So we're going to do a couple of uh, conversion sites and then we're going to use uh, some free software to do the uh, same thing as well. All right, so let's start with the websites here. All right, so the first site we're going to use is this AnyConvert. So they have a DWG to PDF converter. So you just choose your file. Let's see, we're going to do this uh, civil example here. You could pick your format. We'll do PDF. Just click on convert. Now this site doesn't let you see what it looks like. So if somebody sent you this file, it's just going to convert it and not let you view it. So we'll try this one out here. Okay, so now we could download it. And if we open it up, here's what it looks like. Just a simple basic sample file that I had. Okay, so that's the first site. So now we're going to try this other site here. PDF Convert Online. Okay, so we have the same options here. Uh, we could choose a file. We'll do the same one. Then you have some conversion engines. We'll stick with the default and then we'll do landscapes. Of course, you could change that uh, if needed. Okay, so here's our file right here. We click on that and we got the same thing. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Autodesk Viewer website. So this one will actually let you view your files from the website before you convert them. Okay, so I actually have this one uploaded from before. So I'll click over here to open it. So you can see it looks the same, but now we can actually view it on the screen here before we export it. And if you have different layouts, you could change that as well. So let me go back to this more complicated one here. Like, for example, if you want to turn off some layers, you could do that. Like so. View the properties if there are any settings. If you want to adjust some of those. Add comments. You could print it. So you could print to your printer, print to PDF. I take a screenshot and share it. So if we were to go to print, for example, you could remove the background if you wanted to change it to high resolution and then when you click on print you could print to PDF using the Microsoft print to PDF or you could save as PDF and if you have some other printers installed you could just print it okay so that's your third method um, online alright but for this website here you'll need to have an account to actually use it to upload your files it's a free account but you'll still need to log in to actually use it all right, so finally, we're going to use the Autodesk Viewer free app here. And you can see I already have this open. And then once you open it here, you have all kinds of other options for changing your views and that type of thing. So this has a lot more flexibility. And then you have plot, which is the same as print. Then you can pick one of these options here. I'm going to print a PDF or change a different type of file here, like a different AutoCAD file and so on. So let's just try basic print to PDF on this. Call this test. So you can see that worked as well. You might have to do a little adjustments for how it fits on the page, but you get the idea. All right, so to summarize, we have uh, the any convert site here. If you just want to do a simple conversion, we have the PDF convert online website for the same thing. We have the Autodesk website, which lets you actually view the file before you convert it and actually change you know, some of the layers or some of the other views if you want and gives you some other options for sharing and screenshots. And then finally we have the Autodesk DWG TrueView 
program, like I said, which is free as well. So I will put a link for all of these in the description, and then you can try them out and see which way works best for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.